Welcome back to the 2014 Dynamic Billiard Treviso Open to the BHR Hotel in Treviso. We have played a few rounds already and we do have some matches that are worth reporting about. In the winner's round we have Kevin Becker from Germany um, surprisingly defeating Mateusz Sniewodzki from Poland with 9-5. In the same round we had a heartbreaker between young Tim de Reuter from the Netherlands and Dennis Grabe from Estonia. Grabe, if you remember, he already took two Euro Tour tournaments back to back this year um, in Austria and in Porto Roche. And uh, the match went 8-8, Hill Hill, and then Grabe managed to win the match 9-8 and sent Tim de Reuter very disappointed uh, to the loser's side of the tournament. Also on the winner's side, we had uh, Daryl Peach from Great Britain playing with Andreas Gerven from Sweden and the final result was 9-7 in favor of Daryl Peach there. We had the match between Valery Kulojans and Ralf Marenka, both from Germany, and that match went 9-8 in favor of Marenka. And Barbara Boyfelli is continuing her quest. However, as she predicted, the match between her and Mark Gray from Great Britain was a bit too tough for her. She lost 3-9 to nine to Mark Gray, but she uh, still has a foot in the door in the, on the loser's side, as we will see later on. Ralf Suke also had his first job on the loser's side, winning 9-3 over Andre Ruzu from Romania. Matthias Snigotsky won 9-2 over Kostas Konaris from Cyprus on the loser's side. And on the loser's side, here we go, Barbara Boyfelli. She wins 9-5 over her fellow countryman Michele Riolfatti. So, she's still alive in the tournament. Let's see how many more victories she can get here. Number one ranked player Nick Vandenberg in the second, second winner's round met Thomas Pöschel from Germany and everybody expected a pretty quick and clear match. To the contrary, it was a tough fight and at 8-8 Vandenberg managed to pocket the final nine and just win the match with 9-8 over Pöschel. And then we have a match where Lady Luck was a factor. The match between Sean Story from Great Britain and former world champion Oliver Ortmann from Germany. This is what happened. In this first winner's round match between uh, unheralded Sean Story and former world champion Oliver Ortmann, the match unexpectedly went to a hill-hill situation. We have 8-8 with uh, Ortmann breaking and um, he cannot really do something after his break. As we can see here, the two ball it's not playable, he hardly sees it, so he has to come up with a safety shot there, which he uh, executes, and he leaves a tough position for Sean Story. He's not really happy with it. Um, Sean Story sees a little bit of it too, and here we have a safety battle evolving. Um, whoever plays it to and see that he flukes the five and you see Ortmann's reaction he really struggles with it players don't really like that fortunately for him he, Sean Story doesn't have a direct shot on the two ball so he goes for another safety here and he comes up with a decent version I must say a bit unexpected but uh, he manages to put the uh, four ball in between the two and the cue ball so Altman has to hit rail first, he does, and uh, leaves a long shot for Sean Story. Uh, he tries to go for it, and he has to check up with his cue stick a little bit. Tries to go around the forward there, you see, doesn't really hit it, and again, leaves a bad situation for Altman. It seems as if Lady Luck is not really on his side, but we will see. Sometimes you got to expect the unexpected. Ortmann makes a clear hit on the two, but leaves the shot to Story. A tough one, though, especially at this stage of the match when the score is 8-8. Eight, eight. So uh, Sean Story pockets the two ball and has all balls in the open, and it looks like he's the clear winner of that match. But then 
we place this shot and as we can see he does not really get a good position on the four ball. He doesn't put enough draw, low English in the cue ball and he has to come in with another safety here. Which again he manages to have two balls in between the cue ball and the four ball and leave a hell of a shot for Ortman, who chooses to go for the jump shot here. And now we can see Lady Luck sometimes is good for one, but it all levels out in the end. Now he flukes in the seven ball with his shot, and it leaves him a tough and long four ball. Remember the score is 8-8, eight, eight. but a uh, man of Hotman's class and experience knows that he has to take his chances when he gets them, and he, he took his chance, pockets the last remaining three balls, and wins the match over time story with a 9-8 close victory that puts him through to the second winner's round. So Ortman here was in the end the player who had the luck in the right place. I think they both had the same amount of luck and probably it always evens out. However, um, Ortman's through on the winner's side to the third winner's round while Shari has to take the detour over the loser's side. We also had uh, Imran Majid from Great Britain playing with young Evo Arts and that was a clear thing for Evo Arts. He won 9-6 over the Maharaja. Damianos Gyalouakis from Greece, the player who ousted Ralf Suke in the round number one, in the winner's round number one, now had to deal with Pascal Budo from Belgium and he seems to be on a roll. He won again, 9-7 was the final result in favor of the Greek gentleman. Currently we have matches uh, also of the second winner's round going on. Tony Drago, of course, he's finished. The Tornado has won 9-4 over Mark Beisterbos from the Netherlands already. We have a clash between Albin Ushan Junior and Markus Schamat from Sweden. And um, that is a pretty close affair. However, Ushan is leading 5-2 at the moment. And we will keep you posted about the final outcome of that match. Tonight we will have one more round on the loser's side and that will conclude the day. You can check out our matches, watch the action live as it happens on www.kazoom.com or you can check out all results, scores, information about players, time schedules um, on eurotouronline.com. That's it for today. I wish you a safe and sound night and I will see you tomorrow with day two of the Dynamic Billiard Treviso Open. I see you then.